can. What's up? What's good? What's popping? What's cracking? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man Theo Butler, and welcome to. A, I know this is this this video should be what a week it was Wednesday, but instead we're gonna re preview John Ridley's Black Panther issue fourteen before you read it today because it just came out today. Episode I ain't saying I'm just saying with Robin Nation. <laughs> I told y'all I'd be coming up with these titles on the fly. Anyway, before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. Why? Because if you know me, grow me. Sharing is caring. And constructive comments do help us grow. And we on our way to a thousand. That's where we headed this year and everything like that. The one, the number one, is symbolic for a thousand. Yeah. Plus, it's a word. It's a play on my name. Theo put any. Anyway. anyway. That's not what this video is about. This video is us previewing Black Panther issue 14. Now, um, y'all see the type? Y'all y'all see the y'all see the picture. Okay, so that's, that's Namor. Draped. Draped in a Wakandan flag. That's that's what that is. Now, um as we open up because I was asked to do this and I was like because I really wanted to do it but I was like I really want to make sure I did it right um we could be mad at John Ridley all day but John really got some people that he got an answer to right and so in in, in, in this in this I just want to do it like this because like I said I believe everybody should get should get what's what what they got coming to them like I don't I don't think we should get where we ain't really talking to nobody. I think everybody should get the their fair share of criticism. Um, so John Ridley, writer, Caitlin Linvet, assistant editor, Will Moss and Atlanta Smith as editors, and CB Sabolsky as the editor in chief. So you got Caitlin Linvet as the assistant editor. You got Will Moss and Atlanta Smith the editors, the S at the end. And we got C.B. Sabolsky as the editor-in-chief. That's four editors. Four editors. Y'all be like, Theo, where, where, where are you going with this one? Four editors who work for Marvel Comics. You like to think that somebody out of that crew has respect for Marvel history. Because to be perfectly honest with you, Marvel history is American history. Like, Theo, where you going? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get you there. Be patient. <laughs> so we preview issue 14, right? John Ridley. And we see where y'all see it here. You know, name a talking big trash, you know. To child life for all your treachery, for the Wakandan lies you stole, I pass judgment on you. And he get yelled at. Now this this the child. Now, that's what he telling him. Now, I, I know why T'Challa feels this way. I do. And those of us who've read Avengers versus X Men know why T'Challa feels this way. Now, let me read to you who 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 was on that book, that series. I think it was 12, 16 issues. Y'all hit me up in the comment section. But let me tell you, because we still, we still applaud and champion these people to this very day. Uh, Avengers versus X-Men. Brian Michael Bendis, writer. Chill, how many times you done talked about how good Brian Michael Bendis is? Um, Skip and Todd, ain't, haven't y'all alluded to Brian Michael Bendis? Okay. John Denning, assistant editor. Lauren Sankovich, assistant editor, Nick Lowe, consulting editor, and Tom Brevoort as the editor. That's a, four editors. Count, count that dude. Brian Michael Bendis, that's the writer. In that storyline, we saw Namor flood Wakanda, empowered, imbued with the Phoenix Force. That's how he did that. That's, that's comic book history. Like, that's that's what that is. 
And the only reason why Hope Summers happened to be on Wakanda, that's cause that's where Wanda transported them to. Like that ain't that that wasn't the plan. That that wasn't the plan. Right. So that's what happened in that storyline. And that's because T'Challa even tells Cap, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> this ain't no this ain't no surprise. Like he been told this dude, I'm gonna put hands on. You see the picture? You see the picture. Don't act like that. Y'all see this. He told him, man, I'm gonna kill this dude. You man, we gotta talk to him. You talk to him and you, you can talk to him when you talk to him. When I get with him, I'm gonna get with him. Yeah. So People act like we crazy for knowing stuff like this, but I would like to think that somebody that's writing a book with a Marvel Comics label on it would at least have the wherewithal to quote Marvel history. That ain't what we're doing. Okay, so I keep going. So um, T'Challa gets told to stand down by um, Folasad. Uh, yeah, yeah, she she tell him as Prime Minister of Wakanda, I'm ordering you to stop. He's still a galactic emperor. He's still a galactic emperor. And he's the galactic, she might be the Prime Minister of Wakanda, but he's the galactic emperor of Wakanda. We never resolved that issue. We just chose to look the other way. Ain't that right, John Ridley? Now, let me see if I got this right. Let me see. Uh, let me see. The, 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 the storyline before this one, the Black Panther story arc that was before this one, the Intergalactic Empire, uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates was the writer. Uh, Chris Robinson was the assistant editor. And Will Moss is the editor of, of, of that particular run. I, I did that, that, but that. I did it. D. Steasel, I know you You go back and fact check me, let me know, but this this, this Marvel history, and if it's Marvel history, it's American history. Now, if I'm not mistaken, John Ridley works at Marvel and he is an American. And so are, uh, let me see if I got this right again, Caitlin Linvet, Will Moss, Alana Smith, and C.B. Sabolsky. So I'm... I'm The Black Panther series that just came before this, it's been established. T'Challa is a galactic emperor. And even in X-Men Red, what's going on, Marcus? We, we, we talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, John, you even you even have T'Challa going up there to uh, Mars. So we, we know he's a galactic emperor. So how do, how do prime minister given the emperor? Okay. I know I took I took history class. I, I know I took European history, world history, and all that other good stuff. Let me see if I got this right. She he says I'll stop when Namor is dead, and she says you will stop now. Namor, Atlantis, they are not our enemies. I don't know when this decision was made. I don't. I don't. They have slaughtered our people once again. Avengers versus X Men, and I can go further because. They ain't stopped there. Atlantis was putting hands on them in the new Avengers. See the encouraging storyline. We'll have pictures up there for that too. But uh, yeah, she says, as we have slaughtered theirs. Now she chastises. As we have slaughtered theirs and with you as king, no doubt the killing will continue. As we have slaughtered theirs, and with you as king, no doubt the killing will continue. See, this I'm gonna go back to something. Um, yeah, see, uh New Avengers, uh, yeah. Y'all, y'all see that cover right there? Mm-hmm. 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 This is the incursion storyline event. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We talk, talking about the Illuminati and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jonathan Hickman is the writer. John Jonathan Hickman who like Brian Michael Bendis is a like them, them some of the best comic book writers like people appreciate people quote their stuff on uh, uh, Jonathan Hickman wrote this story this storyline and and it was him um uh, Jake Thomas was the assistant editor um Tom Brevoort with Lauren Axelrod Alonzo was the editor in chief mm. so uh 
in that particular storyline, uh, as y'all can see the pictures right here, Namor is trying to tell T'Challa that, you know, war with Atlantis wouldn't be a good idea. And y'all, y'all see, y'all see what T'Challa's saying. T'Challa like, man, I, I don't, I don't really know who you're talking to like that. Cause, um, you know, we, we bought that life over here. So I'm trying to figure out, like, this is the epitome of revisionist history right here. Cause all we doing is going off the history that John Ridley is just writing into existence as he writes this series. I'm going to keep it going though. Um, T'Challa said, you know, she tells T'Challa that they, they gave Atlantis. We gave away something for which we have no use. I, I didn't, I didn't. How you give away a person? She says, he said, T'Challa said, I don't understand. She said, it's you. By way of this treaty and unanimous vote of the parliament, you have been declared persona non grata and banished from Wakanda for your remaining days. You are no longer, you are no longer just a former king. You are now a former citizen. He's still the emperor. <laughs> like, okay, so this, this, when I get to the part, like, John, this, this this why I gotta look at you and be like John, um, uh, John, John. The, the story that I just referred to. Uh, let's go through some of this right here. Uh, so John, I, I don't either. You just don't give a damn, which is why you probably getting fired. Or what. So New Avengers, written written by Jonathan Hickman. You you see these panels right here. You see where the 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 Wakandans. Now mind you, T'Challa is not king. Shuri is queen. Shuri is the Black Panther. She is the queen of Wakanda. He is the king of the dead. He's not sitting on the throne. You see this panel right here where some Wakandan diplomats, was some Wakandan were trying to, you know, get next to some cats from Atlantis and it went awry. Yeah, you, okay. So you see this other panel where the Atlanteans went to go get something with, with, with somebody with a representative from Wakanda and that didn't go right. Right. Okay. You see, you see right here where where they're talking about how the Atlanteans they was going they was going to like set up the Wakanda. Let's say the Wakandans were going to set up the Atlanteans like they was going to get next to him. Like they had got like some inside information, but the inside information that they got wasn't right and they wind up getting killed. Yeah, that was all on Shorty's watch. That, that wasn't on that, that wasn't on the that, that, wasn't, that, wasn't, that wasn't him. That wasn't him. And and do you see right here where 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 you know T'Challa is telling Namor he agreed with him, war would not be a good thing. Like he's literally saying this. And Namor is saying, listen, you put a word in for me. And, and T'Challa is saying, listen, I don't sit on the throne. So what you need to do is go through the proper channels. And I, I put a word in for you that way. Okay. So you, you see where we come over here and, 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 and T'Challa, you know, is he kind of saying some things like, hey, man, you know, we need to move forward and you ain't really got time for all this and everything like that. Sure, they're not trying to hear that though. Sure, they're not trying to hear none of that. Mind you, Jonathan Hickman is writing this. And everybody like this history because y'all finna, y'all finna, when I say y'all, I mean Marvel Studio. You finna do a whole damn encouraging storyline event. Ooh, topic for the night video. You see this though? You, you see this, right? You see, and you see where it's a dude that's hyping shooting up. He's like, yeah, we we looking real suspect out here in these streets. Like, no, we gotta put hands on people. We can't let Atlantis get away with it. We can't let Atlantis get away with it. Everybody be trying to take shots at Wakanda. And she like, you know what? Say less. You do you see what the child is saying? Like, hey man, this this ain't what we need to be doing. Shooty don't want to hear none of that. And what do we get as the black order of sins on earth? 
You see all them bodies floating in the water? You see a few high toots that I say. You see quite a few Atlantean. You do. You do. That, 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 that one. T'Challa didn't order that hit. <laughs> Why you lying to the dude? See, this one I go back to. Like, damn. This one you know the hate is real. It's one thing to have people that don't read comic books lying on the character. It's something completely damn different for the writer of the character to lie on the character and then be able to get that lie past at least four damn editors. C.B. Sabolsky, you're supposed to be celebrated, my dude. What is you doing? This one I go, see, y'all act like we don't, if we spend the money on your comics, it's safe to say we've read them. Safe to say we retain the information gathered from the comic. You would like to think that the comic book company gives a damn about their own damn comic books. Because to the best of my knowledge, y'all ain't retconned this damn story. Y'all ain't retconned Avengers vs. X-Men. Y'all ain't retconned New Avengers. Y'all ain't retconned that Incursions event. So everything that's standing in that damn story is canon. Why in the hell y'all got the damn writer on the character comic book acting like he can't damn read? And if he can't read, he damn sure can't write. And that's why his... Happy ass, don't need to write any more damn kind of books whatsoever. Unless what we finna understand is he'll take liberties with the black characters, but do right by the white characters. And if that's what it is, John really stay the F away from every damn black character. Matter of fact, any writer going forward that can't do right by a black character, regardless of what your race is, your ethnicity is, your gender is, your culture is, your your sexual preference is, I don't give two damn. Stay the F away from the black hair. Write your own damn, ooh, you might not even be, John Ridley is a prime example of somebody who can't write his own damn black, his own damn <laughs> Listen, appreciate y'all for rocking We're going to get this out to y'all and everything like that. I'm going to come to y'all later on tonight. Uh, We're going to talk variance and why y'all that shouldn't be the button you pushing with me and those who think like me. And maybe exactly what a variant is because I think some of us Settling or don't truly understand what that means. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, all right, peace. I, I can't even do that right. Because y'all, I know y'all not finna click like, share, subscribe. Y'all, stop that. Hit that. We're on our way to a thousand. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, peace.